It is Wednesday, my dudes, and a snapshot 20W16A. Today, we have pickling bastion remnants, ruined portals, coded, a chain block, a new music disc, and tick time monitoring for servers. These are the pickling bastion remnants. Huge, magnificent, and quite dangerous because there are holes and lava everywhere. And not to mention, if you would try to open a chest, you would have a horde of piglins after you, and they hit quite hard. These structures generate in all biomes a site of basalt deltas, but you can find one there if it was generated on the edge. They seem to have their rarity on the similar level to nether fortresses. What do you expect to find in these? It depends on the room you're in. These bastions are huge and consist of four distinct parts, not all of which have to be present within the same bastion. You can find these things. Lodestone, enchanted netherite gear, enchanted crossbows, netherite scrap, ancient debris, netherite ingots, gold blocks, gold tools, glided blackstone, piglin banners, soul speed books, crying obsidian, iron, diamonds, and some other random junk. And a new music disc titled Pigstep. As you can see, these chests have some valuable stuff in them, but they aren't that easy to loot unless you will find a way to suppress piglin aggression. People say it is possible to find a magma cube spawner in these, but I had no luck. Also, it seems like bastions don't have special spawning rules assigned to them, so if you wipe out an entire bastion from its habitants in a biome where piglin don't spawn, they will not return back. Next we have Ruined Portals. The purpose of this is to give users an in-game way to know about the nether portals. They even have a chance to have flint and steel in a loot chest that comes with it. But then, you cannot make a portal with crying obsidian even the structure has it. In this chest we can find golden gear, obsidian, gold, pearls, etc. But also, both variants of diamond apples. Diamond apples? No, I mean golden apples. I think of my data packs let's play way too much. Both dimensions use the very same list of structures for ruined portals, but in the nether, stone blocks are replaced with black stone counterparts. And these are all portal ruins in the game, and it seems like the game has additional netherite blocks around them during the world generation. Also, I see a problem with these ruined portals, but the vast majority of people will not care. You see, because both obsidian types are immovable and these ruined portals are quite frequent, it will be much more tedious to run such recent contraptions as world eaters and quarries, including the nether world eater he used to acquire netherite on masses. Also, not all ruined portals are on the surface, by the way, which makes things even more tedious. Speaking of redstone, I have underestimated the importance of a change made in a previous snapshot. Now we can compose nether vegetation and they happen to provide a surplus of bone meal, which means one can make a fully automatic bone meal farm. And unlike a skeleton farm, this one doesn't require a player nearby. Also, because bone meal can generate nether fungi, now we can farm wood completely automatically without a player nearby. Maybe it is not the best wood type, but if you want to make a decent amount of chests, it is perfect. A chain block has been added to the game. Sadly, it cannot be rotated like this, but it's a nice addition to the game anyway. They don't connect horizontally and can be used seamlessly with lanterns. And it can be pushed by a piston. Also, these have a bigger hitbox than iron bars, so that might be useful as well. We can force a jigsaw block to generate a structure. Here we select the generation depth, which means how many times the game will trigger jigsaw blocks inside the jigsaw block, and it can be useful if you're making custom maps using these, but the game itself probably uses something different when it generates bastions. 
expanded the max size per axis of structure blocks from 32 to 48. Now it is possible to monitor server ticks times using GMX. For example, a special software could monitor for TPS and restart a server automatically if it drops below 50% for example. And that's it for this snapshot. Wait, what? No movable tile entity still? Well, I guess it is time to end this video then. Bye bye.